Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And as you can see, we've already started here. And it's Salah. Boyer gets it back. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Giorza tries to get it forward quickly. Boya. Felipe Anderson. Neither side especially adventurous early on. Felipe Anderson. Pings it out wide. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Looking to break out here. Goyos. Goyos gets into a dangerous position. Goyos. Shapes to shoot! Goal! The United States! And it's the United States who go in front! Perfect timing, perfect connection, and a perfect outcome. Oh, that's great thinking and wonderful improvisation. He had to reshape quickly to make the perfect connection. The United States get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Sanun. Sanun drives it forward. And he's there to cut it out. Socrates goes looking. Goyos. He's gone for it! Just swings wide. 
Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Cuts it out. Approaching the half hour mark. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1 0. Bits and courts. Bitten Court plays it forward. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Sanun. Cut out in the nick of time. Swept in. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And it's played forward. Boya. Hoists it forward. Castle Dine. Uh, uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Forward it goes. Now it's Felipe Anders. Shakes the shoot. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. And that'll be the last act of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. The United States head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. The United States really need to go and, and grab another goal. In with a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Universidad de Chile can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Time and again, they are repelled. Hoists it forward. Goyos. Goyos. Big chance! And yes, it's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. The United States grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Goyos. 
for Pastathopoulos. Vasil looking to hit the front line. Goyos. Giorza up towards the front line. Goyos looks to get on the end of this. Giorza tries to get it forward quickly. The United States really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Vasil plays it forward. Sanun tries to stroke it through. Bitten court. Bitten court drives it forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. Oh, he's found him in Goyos with a shot! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Castledine! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Universidad de Chile really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. There will be a throw-in. Lovely bit of skill there. And Goyos! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's, it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's, it's pretty late. Goyos conjuring up some mad whistles gone, that's a uh, foul. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Sanun finds himself eased off the ball. Goyos. Goyos out to the right. Shot a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Giorza. And it's Salah. Redmond. Redmond plays it in. Timely intervention. Redmond. Giorza. Chance to shoot!
And it's played forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Goyos, two assists to his credit already. And time is up. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.